Today's video is on Medicare coverage after a stroke. Let's go through this as if you were having a stroke and what treatments you would likely receive. As you can probably tell, I'm not a doctor, but this is meant to be an example of some of the treatments and how Medicare and Medicare Advantage will cover. This is not intended to be medical advice. This is only informational to help you understand a little better how original Medicare with a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage will help pay for services. If you think of something I miss, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I can look at how that would be covered. First, if you have a stroke, you will likely need an ambulance to be taken to the hospital. Ambulance services are covered with Medicare Part B. Medicare Part B has a once per calendar year deductible, and then after the deductible has been met, then Medicare will pay 80% of the approved amounts and you are responsible for the other 20%. It is important to know that the Part B deductible is once per calendar year and not per Part B service. It is also important to know that the 20% coinsurance you are responsible for through Medicare Part B has no maximum yearly out of pocket to you. But if you have the right Medicare supplement that covers the Part B 20% coinsurance, you won't have to worry about that coming out of your pocket. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, there is a fixed co-payment that you will owe the ambulance company. They vary from plan to plan, but usually range in the $100 to $300 area. To learn more about Medicare Part B, please click on the card above me or use the link provided in the description. I have also provided a link to Medicare's website about ambulance service. Hi, I'm Chris Duncan, owner here at Trusted Benefits Direct. We are an independent insurance agency. We help those already on Medicare and new to Medicare get the education they need about Medicare to make the best choice for their needs on Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, Part D prescription drug plans, dental vision hearing plans, cancer insurance, final expense life insurance, protecting retirees retirement and more. We gain new clients through education and not selling. If you want to call a huge call center or an insurance company directly, and be told what to do or to be sold, then we are not a good fit for you. If you want an objective point of view on all of your options, then we are a great fit for you. Also, if you find value in this video, please do me a big favor and like this video. This tells YouTube I'm doing a good job and will suggest to more people like you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As of this video, I only have about 325 subscribers and I'm trying to put out a lot of great videos to help as many people as I can. And if you like, you can ask me a question in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible or leave a comment about what you think about the video. Even if you dislike it, I can handle the criticism and it will help me make better videos. Obviously, if you are in an ambulance, you will likely be taken to the emergency room. Emergency room services are also covered under Part B. You'll be responsible for the Part B deductible if you already haven't paid it for the year and the 20% coinsurance if you don't have a Medicare supplement that covers the 20%. If you have seen my other videos, you know our two most popular plans are Plan G and N. Plan G pays the full 20% and Plan N pays the 20% after you pay up to a $20 physician office copay and also after up to a $50 copay for an emergency room visit. The $50 copay is waived if you are admitted as an inpatient to the hospital. And like I said, I'm not a medical expert, but if you have a stroke, depending on the severity, I would think it would be highly likely that you'd be admitted to the hospital. A Medicare Advantage plan will also cover you for the ER visit with a copay. And depending on the plan, they may waive your copay if you are admitted as an inpatient. Here is a card to take you to my video about Medicare Supplement Plan GNN. It's in the top right hand corner if you would like to learn more. Also, there is a link in the description to Medicare site for emergency room services. Actually, they call it emergency department services. Now, let's say you have a three day inpatient hospital stay. This hospital stay will be covered under Part A of Medicare if you have original Medicare and will be covered by the Medicare Advantage plan if you have chosen to replace your original Medicare with the Medicare Advantage. First, let's talk about coverage under original Medicare. There is a deductible that is owed to the hospital and in 2021, the Part A deductible is $1,484. 
This covers you for what is called a benefit period, and a benefit period covers you for 60 days. Even if you are readmitted for the same condition, you're still covered under that same 60 days. But if your stay lasts less than 60 days, then the only thing you owe for your inpatient hospital stay is $1,484 deductible, which you can get a Medicare supplement to pay. If your stay lasts more than 60 days, there are additional copays you are responsible for. If you'd like more info on this, you should be seeing a card here that will take you to the video I have done on Part A. If you are in the hospital, you need to ask if you are an inpatient. The reason being is that to qualify to have skilled nursing covered by Medicare, you must be an officially admitted as an inpatient for three consecutive days. To save time, if you'd like to know more about this rule, click on the card above and be taken to my video about this. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, there is a simple per day copay you are responsible for in the hospital. They range from $0 per day up to about $500 a day or more for some, but the actual copay varies between companies and plans. You will want to compare Medicare supplement plans and also Medicare Advantage plans to make sure you are getting the best for your needs. And I believe I am an excellent resource for this. My best number to reach me at is 800-910-3382. When you have a Medicare Advantage, your visits from the doctor will be covered in that copay, doctor office copay. But if you have original Medicare and only Part A hospital coverage, then it is likely that some of your doctor visits while an inpatient in the hospital will not be covered. In the document titled, are you an inpatient or outpatient? It states, Medicare Part B medical insurance covers most of your doctor services when you're an inpatient. This means that while an inpatient in the hospital, if you have only Part A of Medicare, most of your doctor services will not be covered. If you need help deciding if you need Part B of Medicare, there is a section in the Medicare and You Handbook titled, Should I Get Part B? It is on page 19 of the 2021 handbook. You can download the Medicare and You Handbook and also the before mentioned, are you an inpatient or outpatient from my website. I don't want to get too in depth here because my videos, this one included, already run long, but I wanna hit on MRIs and CAT scans. Those are likely to be performed while you are in the hospital. Those would be covered again with Medicare Part B and the deductible and 20% coinsurance will apply. With Medicare Advantage, you will be responsible for the assigned copays. Now let's say you've been in the hospital and you're well enough that you don't need hospital care, but you still can't take care of yourself. The next likely step for treatment would be to a skilled nursing facility. Original Medicare provides up to 100 days of coverage per benefit period. This means that if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, they must also cover up to 100 days. When you have original Medicare, the first 20 days have a $0 coinsurance, but if you are in the skilled nursing facility for days 21 through 100, the coinsurance is $185.50 per day. If you exhaust the full 100 days, you're, you'll be responsible for $14,840. That can be a hefty amount for most seniors to owe. This is where a Medicare supplement comes in, and if you get the right Medicare supplement, it can pay 100% of this bill. Now let's talk about the coinsurance if you have a Medicare Advantage plan. As you probably already know, the cost for Medicare Advantage plans can be different from plan to plan. Some plans we represent have a $0 copay for all 100 days, but most have a $0 copay for the first 20 days, then a fixed copay for the remaining 80 days of the 100 days of coverage. It is because of the differences of all the plans why I think it is best to use the services of an independent agent that can help you shop different plans available to get you the exact right plan for your exact needs. And just by chance, that is exactly what I do and all of my services are free of charge to you. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, you may wanna watch a quick intro video about my services. You can click on the card above to be taken to the video or go directly to trustedbenefitsdirect.com. I don't think I've stated my phone number in a few minutes, so here it is again, it's 800-910-3382. Now we will assume you are now well enough to go home. You are likely going to need some type of occupational and or physical therapy. 
This type of therapy is covered under Part B of Medicare if you have Original Medicare, and it's also going to be covered through your Medicare Advantage plan as well. If you have Original Medicare, you'll be responsible for the 20% coinsurance. I'll assume you have already paid the Part B deductible since this example started with an ambulance service. Again, having the right Medicare supplement plan can pay the entire 20%. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you'll be responsible for the therapy copay. Some plans we represent have a $0 copay for therapy of this nature, but most plans in general have a $20 to $50 copay. It certainly depends on the plan and company you choose for a Medicare Advantage plan. Again, I'm Chris Duncan. If you have a question about this or anything else, I'm here to help. I help with Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, Part D prescription plans, dental vision hearing plans, final expense life insurance, also called burial insurance, cancer insurance, and protecting retirement savings and more. If you'd like my help or you are ready to enroll in a plan, it's easiest to contact through toll free 800-910-3382. If you found this video helpful, and likely you did because you made it all the way to the end, please give this video a like. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page as well. This way you are notified when I put out new videos and blogs. If you like, you can ask me a question in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible or leave a comment about what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video.